All right, today on T's time, we're gonna work on uh, reinforcing uh, the wall for the, the TV wall mount. Uh, so that is today. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone uh, welcome back to tease time I'm TJ uh, today we're working on uh, reinforcing the walls so we're continuing with the process of prepping the walls uh, for the the wall paneling to go up uh, so for this this is what I have for my uh, TV mount It's called mounting dream uh, model number ND2210 so uh, if you're interested in the same model I got it on Amazon, uh, this is gonna kind of be like a how to install also. Uh, but for my main focus today, I just wanted to get the wall prepped because it calls for uh, at least a minimum of a, a half inch wall thickness uh, to mount it into a, a stud. So uh, these are a half inch, uh, these little uh, reinforcement, like the, the main planks, those are our three quarters thick. So I'm gonna take more three quarters and uh, put it behind this and then more of the, the half inch plank to go across these right here because I plan on having it mount centered like right here so uh, this needs to be reinforced so that way uh, the mount doesn't move it doesn't fall off the wall which would be a uh, worst case scenario so we don't want that so uh, that's what we're about to do right now so enjoy Alright, so uh, this right here, this is the center point. This is where uh, the center of the, the TV mount is going to live. So uh, I probably, well, I'm going to reinforce from uh, from this point down to about here. And I plan to do that by cutting like the three quarters inch thick plywood. Uh, take this out, uh, slide it behind, and then slide it down behind, and then screw it all together. And that way we have something uh, sturdy to mount to. And uh, for the kit, let's see what's included. Mounting Dream MD2210, open it up. It has instructions. I already opened it up and went through the instructions. I was just focusing on like the, the wall thickness, but it calls for a, a half inch, minimum half inch. Uh, so I'll have more than that, so we'll be good. But it comes with your hardware. Everything is labeled. Just follow the instructions, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. <laughs> and also, if you need a more additional help, it comes with like this little card. There's, a, I guess, a YouTube guide or video to watch on how to install that. But this, and here are our mounting screws. So that's what we have right there to mount the, the, st the stand, well, the wall mount actually to the wall. That's the hardware for that. And then for the mount itself, oh, it comes with a, a nice little level. <laughs> uh, that's cute. <laughs> and this is the pull string because they'll be able to click and uh, secure it flush to the wall where you're traveling. But then if you want to bring it out and tilt it, you can pull the little handle and it'll come out. And this is the stand itself. In my hand, it feels pretty sturdy. So uh, let's hope it's sturdy when it's actually on the wall. But uh, let's get to it. I'm just gonna take some measurements uh, and then bring everything outside and cut the pieces that I actually need. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. I was down and out and nothing seemed to come my way Here I go, here I go, this time I let it go I never listen to what others say So come and see, no matter what I do Head first into this hurricane Yes I know, yes I know, head high, let it go But it hits me like a pouring rain
So what am I supposed to do? I'm at ease, baby, please let go Have no fear, cause I'm head over heels with you sit about like right here so uh those will actually go through all the layers of plywood that are there and uh it shouldn't go anywhere like it's shaking it's moving like the whole van when i pull on it uh so i'm confident that that will hold uh since i'm actually working on this um this side probably has like the most holes that i have to do for the wall paneling so actually i'm going to try to go ahead and attempt to start to throw up at least uh, one panel board just for this area so I can actually put that mount up. I got the electrical for all this stuff. I actually have like an outlet on this side of the van. So I have to like run an extension cord when I need it. I could just kind of keep that on the outside. So uh, yeah, let's uh, start putting up one of the, the panel boards right now. Um, I'm gonna use a uh, uh, tin snips to actually cut it. Uh, the last kind of a wall board that I had was like a particle board where I was just using it as like a straight razor and then it would snap and for this I think it probably probably would work easy with 10 snips I don't know we're gonna find out so hopefully it does if, if not we'll find another way to cut it I'll make it happen but uh yeah let me get started on that and no matter what you call it
Tell you to use a drill of 530 seconds uh, for the lag bolts uh, and not to use a drill. You want to like slowly screw those in, you don't want to strip that out. So uh, that's per the instructions. But uh, the wall it came out pretty good. Uh, all these that you see here, uh, the light sockets will actually cover that, so you won't see any wood. And uh, the wall cleans up pretty easy, so that's not an issue. And then right here, eventually I'm gonna do like some framework around that for the, the finish of the window sills. So uh, the gaps, they don't need to be perfect because all that will be covered. And the same as in the corner right here, I'll do uh, like a finishing strip right there. Once I have like the other piece in. But uh, this stuff should, hopefully I'll probably use, I have like some double stick, that stuff that came with the, the ceiling stuff that I didn't use on the ceiling that I'll put behind like the, the other boards and even like on the corners right there, I'll add some. But uh, it came out pretty good. I want to say this is probably like the hardest panel that I have for the whole van. Just because like there's so many uh, outlets that I have to cut for that one piece. Like there's uh, other outlets, but they're spread around the van. So uh, it shouldn't be as difficult as this one. But this one just had so many different cuts. I had to go around the window sill, the outlets, and then down here also for the diesel heater for the wire so there's space for that so they don't get shaved and then also this is the diesel he uh, heater uh, thermostat control that's where that goes right there uh, but yeah any questions comments <laughs> suggestions or even actually if you know how to cut the vinyl board or this wall board that I'm using easier than using a jigsaw let me know because the the tin snips they weren't working out too well for me so if you have a better way please let me know i appreciate it but uh thank you for your time see you on the next one peace tj